What's up, my housewives, relatable listeners? It's your girl, Stella, coming to you once again to talk about it all. Hi, guys. I hope everyone had a fantastic Labor Day long weekend. We're going to jump right into it because today we're talking about Dina Canteen, formerly known as Dina Manzo. By now, I'm sure you've been made aware that uh, Tommy Manzo Dina Canteen's ex-husband is getting prepared to enter a plea bargain agreement um, in in relations to the assault case that took place back in uh, 2015. So we're going to talk about that more extensively today. Um, I'm going to read you some extract of the indictment paperwork that is available online Once again, I will make it available in my Substack. Um, Just a reminder, my Substack is housewivesrelatable.substack.com. Just a little bit of a trigger warning. You know, some some of the information in the indictment is quite, um, it could be triggering for some people. So I can't say it enough if it's not something that you want to listen to, because obviously we're talking about sensitive content here. So if this is not something that you're into, um, you know, just fast forward to the next part. Uh, But I just wanted to give a little bit of a disclaimer when it comes to all of that. So, um, you know, I know a lot of people sometimes they don't want to read the the actual indictment because, you know, the, the font is small and, you know, it's a lot, a lot of information. Uh, I'm just going to take away some of the important pieces that I think um, you guys should know. And let me know in the comments, uh, as always, what you think. The ex-husband of one of the stars of the Bravo television show, The Real Housewives of New Jersey, and an organized crime soldier were arrested today on charges of planning and carrying out an assault of the Bravo stars, current husband in exchange for a lavish wedding reception, U.S. Attorney Craig Carpenito announced. Thomas Manzo, 55, of Franken Lakes, New Jersey, and John Perna, 43, of Cedar Grove, New Jersey, are each charged by indictment with committing a violent crime in aid of racketeering activity and conspiracy to commit a violent crime in aid of racketeering activity. The indictment also charges Perna, identified in the indictment as a soldier in the Lucchese crime family, with conspiracy to commit wire and mail fraud related to the submission of a false car entrance claim. And Menzo, with fals- falsifying and concealing records related to the federal investigation of the violent crime. Both defendants will make their initial appearances today by video conference before U.S. Magistrate Judge Katie L. Walder. According to the documents filed in this case and statements made in court, in the spring of 2015, Menzo, one of the owners of the Brownstone Restaurant in Patterson, New Jersey, allegedly hired Perna, to assault his ex-wife, then boyfriend, in exchange of a deeply discounted wedding reception for Perna held at at the upscale venue. Perna, who is a made man in the Lucchese crime family with his own crew, worked with his associates to plan and carry out the assault, which took place in July of 2015. In exchange for committing the assault, Perna held a lavish wedding reception at Manzo's restaurant for a fraction of the price, which was paid by another Lucchese associate and close friend of Manzo's. The wedding and reception held in August 2015 were attended by approximately 330 people and included many members of the Lucchese crime family. Separately, prior to the date that Perna was scheduled to begin serving a state prison sentence in January 2016, he falsely reported that his Mercedes-Benz 
was stolen and destroyed. Perna filed an insurance claim for the destruction of the Mercedes-Benz in order for the balance due on the Mercedes-Benz. However, Perna had staged a vehicle theft and arson with other members of the Lucchese crime family. The charge against Manzo for allegedly falsifying and concealing records related to the federal investigation of the July 2015 assault relates to federal grand jury subpoenas that were sent to the Brownstone restaurant seeking documents related to the August 20-